Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to do in-depth review of Space Shuttle Commander Hubel Telescope missions. In-depth review means I'm gonna look at all aspects of the game, as well as we're gonna look how the game look on PlayStation 4 Pro and original PS4. Space Shuttle Commander coming from the developers Immersive Virtual Reality Education, which in past did Apollo 11 VR and Titanic VR. Myself, big fan of Apollo 11 VR, so I was very 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 looking forward to this one but now is it good or is it bad i gonna tell you all about it let's do it first of all let's start from the meaning and the message so in this game you've got few different game modes you can go to this narrative mode where basically you're gonna go through the launch of the discovery space shuttle installing hubble space telescope in the space as well as you'll be going through the all the maintenance missions and stuff like that you'll be having missions like you know maintaining stuff picking shit up placing it in place replacing broken parts on screwing screws screwing screws back in moving stuff around also you'll be able to fly the space shuttle you'll be able to land and stuff but apart from that you've got some different game modes where you can go straight to the missions if you don't want to go through all the narrative which i would say i advise you to do all the narrative bit first but also you can go to the little space flight simulation missions and also you've got science missions which I gonna come back to it in a minute. Now first of all let's speak about the gameplay and what it's like so when you go through the main story mode you're gonna be sitting in a you know this space shuttle now everything will be happening in real time so at the beginning there is a lot of sitting and a lot of listening to the voicing and what people are saying and they're talking a lot of stuff for all of you space maniacs you probably gonna I love it because this game probably is a space junkie way to dream and also flat earthers biggest nightmare but anyway eventually you're gonna go to the space and that's gonna be in real time as well now saying that this takeoff wasn't very immersive because there you cannot see the power of the space shuttle nothing shakes and stuff and graphically it wasn't that impressive as well i'm gonna come back to graphics in a second but just putting it out there and also the space itself wasn't super nice looking in apollo 11 vr they kind of break things out by showing you stuff from the outside the spacecraft and things like that so you see in a lot of different stuff in this experience you just see in the cockpit and your mates now i said i'm gonna come back the, to the graphics so let's speak about dogs as well on playstation 4 pro you've got you know just, just graphics there is not low resolution but also there is not any anti-aliasing so a lot of jaggy lines and when it comes to ps4 it's jaggies gets even worse than a lot of them it's too many of them but now i don't know if there is even any pro support in this game or is it just slightly better resolution texture wise and model wise models are not too bad they definitely not very realistic due to poor animations but also textures they not on the bestest side of things i must say this game kind of got itself stuck back in 2017 on the beginning of the days of PlayStation VR. So for me graphics definitely felt a bit outdated and also there was few graphical glitches where the image of the sun which is just to the image with a lens flare was shown through the cockpit breaking the immersion even more. So that's about the graphics, voice acting and everything, you've got everything pre-recorded. What as real astronauts was saying, I think those are actual voice of them you know taken from NASA because immersive VR education collaborated with NASA on this just like they did with Apollo 11 VR so at least those sounds very believable and very nice music sometimes kicks in during the missions and stuff but it's not as good as it was in Apollo 11 VR I must say it's kind of dull now what you're gonna do during the missions I mentioned it you'll be replacing stuff and looking after the stuff and things like that but this game got worse controls ever you cannot have controls like this in VR game. You playing with the dual shock, grabbing stuff is a chore by itself, and then rotating stuff you have to hold L2 and then navigate your foam sticks not intuitive at all and pretty much very very terrible while you're going around the space when you're doing your spacewalks it's all click turning as well so not that greatly immersive you look down you got those two little arms stuck in one place they don't move at all and unless game animates them for some special actions so definitely the controls need big big improvement because this game is a chore to play when you're trying to control it sometimes you're gonna accidentally release something and it's gonna fly off to the space and that's it you 
fail the missions, you basically have to start all over again and because everything is so slow and so clunky, it's just terrible to play and I was losing my nerves. But also apart from doing a spacewalks and having terrible time trying to grab stuff, also you'll be able to control the shuttle, do landing and stuff like that. So you've got those dual shock motion controls, which is not too bad, but also it's super sensitive. I'm assuming maybe it is like in real life. This game screams for HOTAS support, but that's probably not gonna happen. Also, while you fly in your space shooter to land and stuff like that, you've got different buttons on your DualShock before the sequence starts. The game gonna put little picture telling you what to do. It's hard to read because it's a bit blurry, but also you're gonna have prompts on the screen to tell you how it is. But in time you read them, sometimes it's too late. You can always watch the replays of your flight, but sadly they are only in 2D and also they showing that this game is not a looker. But anyway, at least you've got some extra content in there. And speaking about extra content, my favorite fa part by far was the science bit of this game. It's not the biggest. I wish the developers concentrated on this bit more and gave us more of this stuff. Maybe in the future they will because you know I like this studio but sadly I didn't have good time but anyway in science beat you're gonna learn about galaxies about the stars also if you ever watch this video on YouTube or anywhere what was super popular when they've been showing you the size of stars this is kind of in there but you can a bit interact with it as well and you can see how small and tiny Earth is and how insignificant we are so they done very nice good job of showing the scale of the universe also in this bit you've got some space Hubble telescope images from the real life what you can look at some of them are in 3d which is nice kind of stuck in your face though so you cannot look around them but also you've got some animations through the galaxies and constellations and that from different camera camera views on, and stuff like that so that was my by far favorite part now in space shooter commander there is some fun to be had especially if you love space it's not like the worst of the worst things but as you play in all of those things could have been better and I mean graphics, animation, the representation of the space, the control definitely need improving very very bad because you feel like you're not fighting with the game but you're fighting with the controls and sometimes the objectives are not clear as well like when you have to dock the uh, arm to the space telescope and you kind of don't know where to go and because everything is so jaggy you, it's kind to find this docking port You've got different camera angles on the tiny screen, but they don't help a lot as well, even though you have to use them, but they're not that great to use. Where I think they've gone wrong is the fact that Apollo 11 VR tried to be more of an experience with few interactive bits, while Space Shooter Commander trying to be more of a game with few experience bits. And this is kind of wrong way around because they definitely didn't master doing nice control in VR, especially that we've had so many games now that showed how things should be done, that this is just step back from what we used to. Also, I must mention there is no options in the game, so you cannot switch off click turning or adjust the speed of movement or change pretty much anything, so that was kind of disappointing. And also, I think when Apollo 11 VR released back in the day, it was one of the early periods. VR games so people gave it a lot, of, a lot of pass on many things but those days Space Shooter Commander just seems like it's kind of got itself stuck in past and didn't do anything innovative at all but anyway onto the score I gonna give Space Shooter Commander 4.5 out of 10 Sadly, this is not the experience I was expecting. I was expecting something more polished and also something more like Apollo 11 VR because I really liked it. For most of the game, you pretty much just stuck in the cockpit and you just listen to things on the radio. Nothing is being shown from different angles and stuff like that combined with the not so great graphics and the general clunkiness of the game. It just didn't paint very good picture. I really like the science bits of the game and I wish there was so more of it for people to enjoy. I also like that they give you the choice and you can choose to go through this long narrative bit first or if you don't want to listen to it you can go straight to the gamey bits of this game but also in those gaming bits things can get frustrated a lot and the game will be fighting against you all the time but also you will see how outdated this game feels and also topping it off having no pro support when you play non-playstation 4 pro they could have at least 
add some anti-aliasing because resolution is not bad like I said but definitely everything seems bit jaggy. I'm bit bummed about it because I really like Apollo 11 VR and I really like the studio immersive VR education. I think they're doing some great stuff so I wish them best of luck in the future but also I wish they're gonna start if they're starting to make more of a games not experiences they need to learn a lot of stuff or maybe just to stick to the experiences because they seem to be very good at it. Okay if you like what you're seeing then please press a like because it does helps the channel a lot and if you're new to the channel and are not subscribed then subscribe it's always better when it's more of us and that's it bye